Oh, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Wow, Bonnie, you really took off the baby weight quickly. Oh, thanks, Lois. Hey, do you mind rubbing some of that sunblock on my back? Of course, Bonnie. Oh, but I don't want to get any on my shirt. You've got that thing for the opening of the library next week. It's perfect for that. Hey, everybody. Oh, look, it's Black Barbie. Why are you all alone? Oh, they discontinued my boyfriend. Mom says I'm the one whose hair it's okay to cut. On Family Ties, there's a Tina Yothers episode. Jennifer, what happened in school today? I got my period. And I will see the Keaton family next week. Boy got beat up by a girl. What was weird was that she was crying, but the way she was standing over me made it look like I was crying, which was weird. Peter, what exactly are you worried is going to happen because of this? World War V. Okay, prepare for itemized insults. A. Don't ever listen to me talk. You don't deserve my words. B. When I said I enjoyed it, I was speaking ironically. And C. You actually like High School Musical? What are you, eight? No. God, they all suck so much. I need a new challenge. What if... Wait, now bear with me on this. What if I date a loser and make him over into a popular guy? Wow, great idea. I'm glad I hung in there. Now, who are the biggest... And project their inadequacies on their kids. Okay. What's that? You think you're better than me? What? No, I didn't say that. So I guess you think you would have been some kind of big shot by my age, huh? Done things differently? Gotten that promotion? I don't even know what you do. Well, let me tell you something. What'd you get? Your crusts. That's it? No. I also got an orange peel and a picture of mom eating a turkey leg. <gasps> oh my god! Connie's coming over to talk to me. Sit up straight! Hey, Meg. Totally cut me off. Sir, they don't make Plymouths anymore. Are you Jewish? Sir, I'm gonna need you to step out of the sleigh. All right, Stewie, we're gonna get you nice and pumped up. Oh my! Suddenly I'm full of energy! All right, fat man, let's do this! We now return to Lady and the Tramp and Michael Vick. <laughs> there, advise me that I put him on steroids. And you listen to him? Yeah, I believe everything everyone tells me anywhere. <laughs> What's going on, B minus? What's a heps? Stewie, you look gross. Classic Rock 103.7 WHTT. I hate this station. They always make promises they can't deliver. Playing the greatest rock and roll hits of... Care, and that's good. Oh, okay. Um, if we're dating, does that mean when we go in there I can hold your hand? Good idea. Then everyone will think you're popular. Well, I don't really care about that. I, I want to hold your hand because it's Paul Sorvino movie, Distracting Trumpet. I want to thank you all for coming out here today. We got a serious situation down in the Bronx. Our friend needs to get a message to the short man in the hat. He needs to... Go? What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about go. That's what I'm talking about. First one's on the house. I got things to do. Oh, where you think you're going? I'm going downstairs. Oh, there's a toll in the hole now. Ten bucks. Look, can I... Oh. I just... Oh. Is that Chris Griffin with Connie D'Amico? I think it is. Wow, that makes him popular. Hey, Griffin! Griffa! Griffa Mano! Wow, the jocks have never said hello to me to embarrass us like he did when that one-legged guy came over. All right, well, if you like movie trivia, I got one that'll stump you. Uh, of course, you're probably not really into tibia trivia. Uh, boy, that global warming, huh? Again? It's like the eighth time today. I'm not satisfied until every vein is forced up against my skin. Look how vascular I am, Brian. If there's one thing women love, it's a vascular man. I've got... So, Connie, now that you're dating my brother, maybe we can hang out, you know? Hey, after dinner, you want to come up to my room and give each other makeovers? I don't use makeup, Meg. Of course you don't. You're all natural. Man, your dad must be proud. Spazoids don't catch wind. <laughs> Ugh, speaking of spazoids. Wow! Can you believe it, Connie? You and I are gonna be at the same party this weekend. Oh, this is so cool! Hey, what are you wearing so I make a of a severe mental illness? Make it seem a miracle you made it this long. I could do that. Was 
Amazing! And Linda Carter wasn't actually here? No, that was just in your mind. Incredible! So, so you can do that, like, what, once a year or something? No, you can do it basically whenever you're not doing 1650. We were playing a game with you. That's what you are. You're a clown. Are you gonna pay for the pizza? Yes. Your money is in this pile of mashed potatoes. Eat your way out. No hands. <clears throat> Remember, this is about writing music that means something to us. Okay, from the top. Paul's mentholiptus. You can feel it in your nose. That's how you know it's a medicated cough drop and not just a candy. I... Wait, wait, what? You... You're not gonna take the money? <laughs> No, I don't want your money. I had fun hanging out with you. Well, all right then. Hey, Grandpa, check it out. When I make my elbow like this, it looks like when... Oh, no, my hairless twin got out. Hello, family. Let's eat all the garbage we want. What? Oh, no. <gasps> There's no light. There's only fire! Look, Carter, I, I suppose you're entitled to do what you want, but, you know, I'm just saying, if it were me, I would give all the money to charity. Oh, yeah? Which charity? I know it's strange, but in the end, it's his money, so who really cares? Well, yeah, but... But what? Peter, did you marry me for my money? Of course not, Lois, but even you can't deny it was always gonna be a huge perk. Look, I never told you this, but... For years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peter, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember! Represent, bump, one spin, slap high, slap low, reverse spin, bump, explode, shake, belly rub, fake yawn, finger gun, hitchhiker, hitchhiker, shimmy, shimmy, sham, sham, shake, 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 bump, something smells, and shake again. Okay, ready? Chris? I want to share with you a time-worn father-son tradition. I am going to show you a film comedy from my youth that won't hold up. Welcome to the classic comedy, Meatballs. Oh, that sounds great. Is it about... We now return to At The Movies with two guys who watch the films on their iPhones. Good evening. First off, we're going to review Paul Greengrass's Captain Phillips. What did you think, Bill? Well, it got off to a great start, but when it was... Done that. Chris, our bath is ready. I, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do now. I, I don't have the parenting skills necessary to deal with this. I say we never speak of this again. I... You content. Chris, Chris, wake up. I have something very important to ask you. Chris, there comes a time when every man looks at his son and thinks, I want to take this to the next level. Like Will Smith and that pit bull. Why do you even want to marry me? It's time to settle down and simplify things, like maybe having one ATM card and one bank account. Say yours. Oh, I get it. So, what do you say? Huh? What is this? It's a petition to force that hot mom to wear something appropriate at PTA meetings. Oh, thank God. Well, whatever. Why do we have all these appointments? Wedding DJ, florist? Because, Chris, it takes time to plan a perfect wedding. You don't want to jump the gun. You know, like when you respond to a text too quickly. <clears throat> Holy wackazoli. Dad! What? Don't what me. You know what you did. Hey, I may be your husband and your dad, but I'm still a man. Yeah, we're looking to plan our post-wedding couple, um, even though we only met them three months ago, but we would like them to be prominently featured to let other guests know how tolerant and wonderful we are. I'm excited for your first dance. It was nice of the guests at the cat funeral to stay for our wedding. Yeah, and I bet you're especially happy we're getting married on a Thursday. School, yuck, right? Welcome, friends loved ones, and people who are waiting for the three o'clock check-in time with Nuff Chris. Stop the wedding! Lois, how did you find out about this? Peter, several people have called the police about a man marrying his son. It's not normal. Peter? Peter Griffin? Oh, God. Spend even more time with my dad? Then it's worth it. Wait, you knew all along I just wanted you for your money? Yeah, Dad, I did. 
Wow. Oh, boy, I've been a real... Well, we should probably get going. I think this adventure is over. Interestingly, however, I did run into Chris again. It was on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. He was with another dad. I was with another son. But it was nice reminiscing about old times.